Welcome back to our channel. I'm your host, Kerry Southorn, and this is Leadership Radio, where leadership is more than just a theory. You guessed it. It's right here, and it's right now. Thanks for stopping by. If you feel inclined to give us a thumbs up, thank you for that. And if you haven't already subscribed, it'd be great if you could do that as well. It's been said that much of life is spent either anticipating future events or remembering what's already passed. And most of our videos are geared, of course, towards the future. How to be a better leader. How to communicate. How to work with people. How to manage your time. How to conduct meetings and so on and so forth. Today we're going to switch gears and we're going to get into more of a reflective mode. Two years ago on American Thanksgiving Day we had a conversation with Virgil Schmidt who lived in Texas at the time and for the holidays he was in Alabama. Virgil waxed eloquent about looking back on the rewards of a life of leadership. A life well lived. And indeed there's a price to leadership but there's also great rewards. I'm sure you're going to enjoy this short conversation and remember leadership makes all the difference when it makes a difference in you. We'll see you next time. Well we welcome uh, Virgil Schmidt from San Antonio. He's in Alabama today but uh, welcome back Virgil. Thank you Gary. Good to be here. Happy American Thanksgiving to you in Canada. I hope you're enjoying your your turkey and whatnot down there. But uh, nonetheless, it's a great time of year and we have much to be thankful for. Sort of to transition from that Thanksgiving theme is uh, as you look back on your years of leadership, what would you say you enjoyed the most? Be interested in your experience. Well, you know, I was asked that question recently at a family funeral by uh, a family member and I didn't have uh, any difficult time responding to it because probably something inherent in all of our hearts is uh, to discover what was my purpose for being alive to start with. And my purpose was fulfilled in my role as a leader in my community because it provided for me fulfillment in life. At my stage right now, Kerry, I can tell you I've lived a fulfilling life. Uh, that means I haven't wasted my life. It doesn't mean I did everything right or did it well, but it does mean that I was attempting and working toward that goal of wanting to make a difference. And if there's any kind of legacy that I want to leave, and that's really, I think, what we're talking about is a legacy, Right. And my legacy that I can pass on is that, uh, from my perspective at least, I lived a fulfilling life. I met my objectives. What greater thing to be thankful for than to look back at a life well lived? Yes. And uh, it sounds like your role as a leader and being a leader had a lot to do with that. Yes, it did. You bet. Thanks for those thoughts, Virgil. I'm sure there's a lot of leaders out there that uh, uh, maybe are needing a shot in the arm. Kind of a, an overview of life like that might just do it for them. Yeah, good. Hope so. Thanks, Gary. Thanks.